Usually when you use conditional formatting, you will apply the rule to only one cell. But what if you want to highlight the whole row if your condition is met? And what if you have more than one condition? Well, let's check this out, let's go. Let's start slowly to understand the concepts and then we can start running. So what I need to do is color every row with department equal to sales in one color and every row with R&D in another color. How do I do this? I can use conditional formatting and formulas. And you have to abide by three rules. Rule number one, and I have selected the data so you can see it. I need to write a formula that works for the top left of my range, which is cell A5 in this case. Rule number two, if you drag the formula, it has to work for every cell in my range. And rule number three, don't use if. So let's try to do it together. I'm just gonna come here and type the formula. So I need it for A5. I'm gonna say equal, we're gonna select the department here, equal double quotation, and here you have sales. Close double quotation, you can see the formula up, press enter, you get through, perfect. This is sales, so for A5, the formula is working. If I drag it like this, for A6, A7, etc., it's working also. This is false, this is false, etc. The problem is, if I drag it like this, I get all false. This is not correct. I need to have true for the whole row. So what do I do in this case? I can fix the formula, the referencing. So I need to put a dollar sign in front of B, press enter. Why do I do this? Because if I move the formula like this, you can see that you keep column B. And if I move it down, you will keep column B and have six, seven, etc. So now if I just drag the formula and double click, you can see that everything is working. This is true. This is false. And this is true. Now that you have the formula, piece of cake, just take the top left formula, control C, escape. Let's select our data set. Then you go like this down, conditional formatting, new rule, formula, you paste it and select your format. So I want to fill in this blue color. I want the font to be white. Press OK, press OK, and there you go. Now you want to do it for R&D, no problem. Let's come here, change sales for R&D. Now if I just move it like this and double click, it's also working. This is false, this is true. We take the top left, Control C, Escape. Let's select the data again. And we're going to add another rule. So conditional formatting, new rule. By the way, you can clear rules like this and you can change rules, modify them using this. But I need a new one. Again, I'm going to put the formula, format, the font, we can put it in black, fill, let's use this, press OK, press OK, and there you go. Now that you are finished, obviously you can delete the formulas. Let's do something a bit more complicated. So here I have a drop down menu. I want to color based on the selection. So now I have sales. I want to color only sales. Let's try to do it together. We're going to come here equal B5. So this is for cell A5 equal. We're going to select now D2 instead of typing sales. I have it here. Press enter. Now, if we move like this, obviously we have a problem. So what do we do? We come, put the dollar sign here, you're used to it, and D2 doesn't need to move. So here I selected it, F4, I have two dollar signs, press enter, let's check it out. We double click, perfect, you have true, false, and so on. So now, same technique, Control c escape, let's just get the data, we select it, conditional formatting, new rule, formula, we go here, format, Let's use this and let's use white. Press OK, press OK. There you go. Now you change it to R&D and you get R&D selected. All because the formula will take what you have here. Let's do more complicated where I have two rules. So that will work for two or more rules. So here I want sales with a salary above 5,000. How do we do this? Same technique. Here we say equal. But instead of typing the condition, I can use AND. And once you use AND, you can put many conditions separated by commas. 
if you want an or you just use or here and it's the same concept so and we're gonna start with my first logical condition so i want the department to be equal to this one let's use f4 for b2 and here put the dollar sign and remember we are writing the formula for a5 come on the second one is the salary which is here let's use the dollar sign here bigger than and we're gonna select 5000 f4 close parenthesis so that's true sales and 5900 if i just drag it everything is true we click and you can see this is false for example because it's another department if we go to this sales the salary is smaller and so on the next true is this one sales and 9000 so let's take the formula on the top left Control c escape select the data and now we go conditional formatting new rule same trick i'm just gonna use this and this time i'm gonna use just this fill let's make it this color press ok and there you go now if i make the salary for example 3000 you can see that you get this highlighted automatically we can change department r d for example and it works like a charm